I'm Melody Desena Wyatt. I'm a bodybuilding.com and optimum nutrition sponsored athlete. I'm in the Army National Guard and a mother of one. I've always been active growing up. My parents always had me in like ballet, gymnastics, martial arts. It wasn't until I went to basic training for the Army where I truly discovered my physical potential. Going to airborne and air assault training, I kind of strived to prove myself that I could hold my own. After I had my daughter, I remember a lot of people would tell me like, oh, you'll never have your body back how you used to have it. She was delivered by C-section and, you know, they cut through your muscle, you're never gonna have abs again. So that kind of messed with my, my mind, like, oh, I can kiss my good body days goodbye. I was a complete cardio bunny. I, I would run seven to 10 miles a day and it helped me shed the weight, but then I was just scrawny and skinny. I had no muscle tone. I was actually on bodybuilding.com trying to look for things that could work for me and it was there when I really got inspired because I had seen a picture of Jamie Eason for the first time. And I was like, wow. I, I mean, I showed my boyfriend and I was like, I, I gotta get a body like this. This is, this is awesome. Like, she has it going on. So that's when he told me, he's like, look, if you want a body like that, you're gonna have to give up the treadmill and you're gonna have to start lifting heavy and intense. I started seeing like muscle definition forming in my legs when I used to just have like toothpicks for legs. It was motivating to see that. Then I remember a friend at the gym approached me and she's like, there's a fitness show coming up, you should compete. And I was like, yeah, right. Me on stage in a bikini, like there's no way. I didn't think I was good enough or whatever. And, and I thought, what the heck, I'll try it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just winging it. I didn't even know if I should do bikini or figure. I didn't even know where I would fit in. So I was like, well, I'll just do both and, and see. I ended up placing first in both divisions and then I was just in love with the whole sport. Through my journey and being able to share it on body space or social media, I was um, inspiring other moms. That was also my motivation whenever I would hear it from people like, oh, your transformations inspired me to want to start. That really gave me some drive too to see what that would was doing to other people and that the motivation's contagious. I'm on a five day split. I do a whole day dedicated to chest, a whole back day, an arm day, which is buys and tries, and then a whole day for shoulders and a whole day for legs. Every other day I do abs or calves. The sixth day I'll rest and then I'll start back um, all over again. When it comes to cardio, if I'm not prepping or trying to cut down for something, honestly, I don't do cardio. Maybe once or twice for 20, 30 minutes, if that. High intensity definitely is the way to go for me. If you're an avid runner and you love running, then power to you, but I'm all about saving time and getting in there and doing what I need to do I'm sweating, I'm doing um, intervals, I'm doing sprints, I'm, I'll adjust the Stairmaster or I'll even go to the park and while my daughter's on the playground, I'll do sprints on the field and um, with active rest periods of um, push-ups or bench jumps. Don't just jump into it right away. Properly warm up, stretch, even two warm up sets with lighter weight and then start gradually going up. I see a lot of people going right away and they're like, oh, gotta get this heavy weight up. When you're on stage, they're not asking you what your bench press is or how much do you squat or what's your PR. Sometimes uh, I'll put on some angry mad at your dad music or some really like uh, upbeat EDM. Something crazy that just gets me pumping. Even my boyfriend got me into motivational videos while you're lifting. To hear those words, it's just so epic and profound. 
and using the power of visualization and the power of the mind is such a strong thing and that's what you have to overcome is the mental part of it. So just listening and hearing those words, it, it really pushes you. I am like any other normal person. I love food. I'm a big foodie. I love cheeseburgers and pizza and cheesecake. I love it all. I like having cookouts and going camping and not having to worry about tracking my macros or whatnot. I believe that there's a time to work and a time to play. And I love enjoying food, but I know that if I'm not on top of my nutrition, I'm not really going to see results. I try to keep it to white meats, like chicken and fish and egg whites, but I, I'm always switching up what I do with it so I don't get tired of it. And I think that that's what the key is, is you don't wanna burn yourself out eating the same boring thing every day. You need to enjoy what you're eating, otherwise it's gonna be miserable for you. There's healthy alternatives to so many things. The bodybuilding.com healthy recipe database has tons of awesome recipes. Just last week I was going through a cookie craving so I made protein cookies. I don't count calories or anything like that. Um, I do try to eat uh, 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of lean body weight and I'll tweak my carbs and fats as I'm nearing a show or trying to prep for something. That's another thing that I tell a lot of people because you know they ask me what's your meal plan or you should make me a meal plan but what is going to work for me isn't going to be the same macros as you and everybody's um, body is different it re responds to different foods differently. I love directing people to all the fitness plans on bodybuilding.com a lot of them have a uh, macronutrient calculators in it you can just eat according to your weight, age, activity level. This lifestyle is like a big old science experiment and you gotta find what works for you. All my life I was always raised taking my vitamins and supplements. My mom used to force pills down her throat and we hated it at the time where she'd grind it up and sneak it into her morning orange juice being raised around that kind of like rubbed off on me so I've always taken vitamins and supplements my whole life and I believe that it's not just to attain the dream physique but it's gonna help what's going on inside of your body and take care of you all year round I'm taking a multivitamin and my omega-3s and iron, calcium, biotin, um, all of those are, are always important to me I feel like. I'd rather eat my protein powder like bake with it and make treats than to drink it and I'll just have a simple casein cheek before I go to bed and I'll, I always have glutamine before I go to bed or after my evening workout. Um, I'll usually mix that in with, into my shake. I've always taken creatine monohydrate. I believe that it's helped me with my endurance or my stamina or my strength. I always take a, a pre-workout too. And I always like to rotate those because um, the body adapts to pretty much anything you're doing to it. So, you know, I'll switch those out and take different ones or I try new things all the time. And that brings me um, to branched chain amino acids. I think those are really important and I recommend those to anybody, whether you're prepping or not. Those are the essential amino acids that's really gonna help you recover from those intense workouts. If I'm prepping for a competition, that's the only time that I'll take a fat burner. Sometimes if I do take a fat burner that kind of has stimulants, I don't need a pre-workout because it kind of already gives me that like crazy energy. I love what I do and being an example to other women or inspiring other people. A title or a pro card or a trophy, they're nice and all, but it's not what I'm only living my life to do. It's about the whole journey and enjoying it and really truly discovering my, my mental and physical strength. You can find me on Body Space, Instagram, and my Facebook, Melody DeSena.
For more content like this, come back to bodybuilding.com.